So today we're gonna to be talking about my top five drones of 2018. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this, stick around. What's up guys, I'm Original Dobo, and if this is your first time here, I do drone and tech related content. So if that's your jam, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications so you don't miss another video just like this. Also, if you're interested, I am on Twitter and Instagram full time. Links are in the description below. So if you wanna interact with me in real time, that's where to find me. Now let's get into the list of my top five drones of 2018. Now I'm not gonna to try to bore you with all the crazy specs. I'm just gonna highlight some key things and reasons why these drones made it to where they are on the list. Now keep in mind too that this is my list. These are my reasons why these drones are at one through five. So you may have a difference of opinion. If you do, go ahead and drop me a comment down below. Let me know what your list looks like. I'd be happy to take a look at. Please guys, let's keep it diplomatic in the comment section below. Yeah, let's get started. Number five is the Parrot Anafi. Now the Anafi comes in at number five for a couple of different reasons. One, it has probably one of the most unique camera systems out there on a drone today. It does have a 90 degree camera, which means it can face 90 degrees straight up or down without getting any props in the shot, which I think that's pretty cool. It also boasts HDR video, which was really a first for many drones today. And it has a 20 megapixel camera, which is pretty cool. The Anafi is portable. It's light. Yes, I gave it a hard time when it first came out. It did have some bugs and it had a high price point, which I really didn't think was justified, but Parrot knocked the price back by a hundred bucks and it sort of makes it a little bit more tangible and more of a reason to think about it, especially if you are traveling. This drone is so light and small, you can really fit it in any bag. Coming in at number four, we continue on with the light and portable trend with the Mavic Air. Now the Mavic Air is the oldest drone on this list and it was launched in late January of 2018. But I think this drone really is still a future-proof drone today. So if you're considering buying a drone, Mavic Air has some of the best HDR photos I've ever seen. It also has some of the crispest 4K, crispest, crispest, gosh, I can't even say it. I don't know why I'm lisping, but it has some of the most crispy 4K video you will find on any drone out there right now. It also is $699, which makes it a pretty worthy competitor to that of the Evo and the Anafi, it sort of falls in the middle of the two. It does have 17 minutes of flight time and it's fairly durable, at least in my experience. I've crashed this and wrecked this several times and it's always came out on top. It also has some of the best obstacle avoidance in the business. So if that's your thing, the Mavic Air is definitely a good choice even still today in late 2018. I can still recommend the Mavic Air. Now coming in at my number three choice, please don't burn me in the comment section, but it's the Mavic 2 Pro. And I'm gonna explain why I put that here. Now, if we're looking at this list and people are probably looking at this to buy Christmas gifts, the Pro is probably not the best choice for a beginning drone pilot. It does require a little bit of added work in post to get that image super nice, super sharp, right out of the camera, at least in video. Photos, it does phenomenal. If you're just about photos, the Mavic 2 Pro is definitely a good purchase and I would highly recommend it. However, if you wanna take advantage of like the D-Log and all the 10-bit color profiles that it has to offer with Hasselblad, it does require a little bit more experience. So if you're an experienced cinematographer or somebody who's just looking for that added flexibility, the Mavic 2 Pro is definitely a good choice and one that I can definitely recommend. Again, I'm just looking at it as like a consumer. The average Joe consumer isn't gonna know what color grading is. Maybe, maybe they do, I don't know. Did they teach that? I don't know. Coming in at number two, this one was a tough choice, but I'm putting the Altel Evo at number two. Now the Evo has a lot going for it. Most notably, the price is $999, and with the on-the-go bundle that they just put out, it really makes the Evo like 750 bucks. The Evo offers 4K60 in a very capable body, uh, very similar to the Mavic. It has 30 minutes of flight time, and in my experience, it's about 26 to 24 minutes of flight time in reality. But it's a super durable drone, the camera on this thing is really phenomenal and it does take some of the best photos that I have ever seen from a drone of its size. And the controller. The controller is easily the standout feature of this drone. Not having to use your phone or tablet to see what's happening and to be able to quickly get up in the air is truly amazing. And that's the reason why the Altel Evo sits at my number two spot for 2018. Now, drum roll please. 
Number one, the number one drone choice of 2018 has to be the Mavic 2 Zoom. I've flown this thing a lot and a lot of different places and I really do appreciate those two different focal lengths. Having two different focal lengths really opens you up to a whole new world of possibilities, especially when they are optical focal lengths. Now, I didn't talk a lot about the features on the Mavic 2 Pro because there's a lot of similarities between these two, but one thing they don't share as far as the same is the price. The price on the Mavic 2 Zoom is a lot less, about $300 less, yet it shares the same battery time, same controller, same great features, minus a couple of little things that are in the app differently. Again, we're talking about the D-Log, you only get decent alike on the zoom, but this is going to give you the best possible image straight out of the camera on the Mavic 2 zoom. Super sharp, crisp. I don't think anybody is going to complain if you bought this for them as a gift on Christmas day. I do have an honorable mention and that's the Skydio R1. Now I didn't get a chance to personally fly this, but I put this in the honorable mention because it's pretty impressive what this drone is doing. I think it's phenomenal that it has such autonomy and the ability to just avoid obstacles as well as it does. And I really look forward to versions that are slightly more affordable and don't include a GoPro style camera. But other than that, that's my list. Let me know what yours is in the comment section below. And if I got this entirely wrong, feel free to drop a comment below, but let's have a diplomatic conversation again about this. As always guys, hope everybody has a great holiday. Stay original.